Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you how amortization is affected by the duration of the amortization for the length of the loan. For example, you can borrow money for 30 years, but you can also do it for 40 years, which is usually not a very good idea, but typically shorter periods like 25 years, 20 years, 15 years, and even 10 years amortization, meaning you'll try to pay back the loan in just 10 years which means, of course, the payments will go up, the monthly payments, but there's an advantage in that the total number of payments have declined, and since you're paying off the loan faster, the total amount of interest you pay on the loan will be smaller because of that. So we're going to show you how the monthly payments will be affected, the total payments will be affected, and the total interest paid back to the bank will be affected by paying back the loan in various periods, time periods. So let's start with a 30-year loan. Again, the equation is the same, so we have and in this case, we took a loan of $200,000 and an interest rate of 5%. So we got 0 0.05 there, 12 payments per year, total number of payments 360, of course, for a 30-year period. So let's see what the monthly payment would be in this case. Starting from down here, we write, we go 0 0.05 divided by 12 plus 1. So we have this quantity right here, raised to the minus 360th power, then we subtract that from 1, we raise it to the numerator by pushing the 1 over x button, multiply times 0 0.05, divide by 12, and multiply times 200,000. And in this case, our monthly payment would be 1,073 dollars and 64 cents. So let's put that in here, monthly payment would be 1,000 and 64 cents. So after 360 payments, how much money will you have paid back to the bank? So we have 1,073.64 times 360. And so the total amount of money paid to the bank will be 386,510 dollars and 40 cents. And then if you subtract 200,000 from that, the total amount of interest paid to the bank would be 186,510 dollars and 40 cents. All right, so that would be your, your situation if you go for a 30-year loan. But what if you want to do, try to pay back in a shorter period of time, only 25 years? So what, do, what would happen then, of course, for a 25-year period, the 30 here would then change to a 25. Everything else would stay the same. So let's try it this time. Again, starting from here, we go 0 0.05 divided by 12, Five divided by 12, and then times 200,000. And now your payments have gone up. Instead of 1073 you will now pay per month $1,169.18. So your monthly payments are higher. You may not be able to afford the monthly payments of 1169 and therefore you may want to go for a 30-year loan. But if you could fit it into your budget, you can then pay slightly higher payments for only 25 years. Let's see what the difference is. So we take 1169.18. And now we're going to multiply this times 300, not 360. So in this case, we multiply the monthly payment by 300, and the total amount of payments you paid to the bank will now be $350,754.00, which means your interest paid to the bank will now be $150,754.00. So notice the total payments to the bank will now have decreased. And the total interest paid to the bank will now only be 150, well, only, of course, still a lot of money, but 150,000 at 186,000. So you saved about $36,000 in interest by paying slightly more every month and paying it therefore off in 25 years instead of 30 years. Let's now go for the 20 year loan. Of course, for the 20 year loan, this now becomes a 20 instead of a 30. There now will only be 240 payments. So let's see what your monthly payment is now. Again, starting from here, 0 0.05, 0 .05 divided, by 12, divided by 12, and times 200,000. And so now your monthly payments are getting quite steep. For 20 years, you now will be paying $1,319.91. Again, it's more expensive every month, but it's only now for 20 years instead of 30 years. So now when we multiply that quantity by 240, let's see what your total payments to the bank will be now. So $1,319.91 times 240 payments. So the total payment to the bank now will be 
$778.40, which means the total payments and interest to the bank is now $116,778.40. So you may not be able to do anything about the interest rates. They are what they are, but you have the control over what your monthly payments will be in terms of how long you want to pay off the loan. You can shorten the length of the loan, higher monthly payments, but in the end you could save a lot of money. Again, you will have saved more than $30,000 in interest payments over the life of the loan. Let's go for a 15-year loan and see what happens now. So this now becomes 12 times 15 or 180. You have now slashed the number of payments to half because 15 years, of course, is half of 30. Let's see what the monthly payments would be now. Again, starting from here, 1,000 equals. So now your monthly payments are $1,581.00. And 59 cents. So now we have to multiply the times 180 to see what your total payments will be. So 1,581.59 times 180. Your total monthly payment are now 284,686 dollars and 20 cents, which means the total interest paid will now be 84,000. $686.20. Look how much money you can save by going for a 15-year loan instead of a 30-year loan. You could save over $100,000 in interest payments to the bank. Of course, you have to be able to afford these kind of payments instead of those kind of payments. And let's just see what a 10-year loan can do for you. So now if we go to 10 years, this will be now 10. So now you only have 120 payments. You're paying back the loan in a 10-year period, 120 payments. So starting from here, so now your monthly payments are $2,121.31. Of course, we multiply this now times 120 to get the total payments in this case. So 21.31 21 times 120, you'll be paying a total of $254,557.31. Which means the interest will add up to $54,557.20. So you'll only be paying $54,000 in interest versus $186,000. Again, you have to be able to afford these payments, but if you can, you'll be done paying the loan after 10 years. You only pay $54,000 to the bank, the house is yours, and it's really the way to go if you can afford it. But at least it's for illustration purposes, you can see how the length of time of the amortization loan really makes a difference in, first of all, the size of the monthly payment, the total amount of money you'll pay to the bank, and finally, how much interest you end up paying to the bank. And so it's a good thing to look at those differences and be able to then decide what's the best way for you to go on this. And that's how we do that.